Vue 3.4 has just been launched. It's a slam dunk. All kidding aside, Vue 3.4 has just been announced on December 28th and it's codenamed Slam Dunk. It has a couple of new features that I'm gonna walk you through in this video. It's more of an incremental release. It doesn't have as many new features as we saw in Vue 3.3 but I think it's really important. So let's look at them together. One of the kind of the bigger things that they released is this more efficient reactivity system. If you've ever dealt with like watch effects and you've noticed how many times it re-renders, it re-renders a lot. I had this problem in a project that I worked on uh, at Amazon. So it looks like if the computed value remains the same, it doesn't get recomputed as often. So that's really good. Another thing is define model. I'll show you an example of that later in this video. There's also this vbind update. I think it's really neat. So we'll look at that. And then there's some improved hydration mismatch errors, some error code, some JSX namespace things. Not too many, too many large changes, but I think overall this is a great incremental update. So let's jump into the code. All right, let me show you how to use the vbind shorthand using view 3.4. So I have an app here you have a list of links at the bottom in this footer component. You can add a link name in here and it'll display. Right here we have this my footer view component that you that I'm using. It has a message prop. So I'm going to add this define prop which is this message that you can add to it. And then down here it's basically going to display that message. And if I come back over here, you can see now my footer view is saying it's missing what it the prop and I already went ahead and created this message ref and every time you submit the form it'll essentially add it to this ref right here this message dot value form data get footer text so to add that in uh, we can do it a couple days a couple ways we can do vbind message equals and then message and if I save it like this and I refresh it I add something in, hit enter, it displays as expected. Now we know that it, this can be refined and made a little bit easier. So one way is just to remove the vbind and just have the colon message. And if we do that, save it, it works the same. Now with 3.4, there's an additional enhancement where if you're using Svelte, if you use Svelte, you probably have heard this before, but you don't even need to put the equal message as long as the value that you're using matches the name of the prop. You can delete the equals and just have colon message and it will automatically handle everything for you. So if I type in hello or I don't know, Fox News, it goes ahead and adds it in. Now, if you see right here, there's a red squiggly line in my VS code. So this obviously is a little bit of a problem. Uh, it gives me this message that vbind is missing the expression and I looked this up, there's actually an open bug on Volar, which is the view language tools. So here it is. So this says the vbind shorthand, it's not supported yet. So I'm hoping that the maintainers of uh, Volar or the view language services will update it so this works. But in the meantime, you can definitely use it. I will definitely be using it in my view apps. It's really handy. One thing I wanna mention too, is on my last video, if you don't know, I created a video on view 3.3 updates. But one thing I really liked is this way to do destructuring. So you can destructure define props. So instead of doing something like this, where you do define props message, you do something like this, destructure it, and then you can also add in a default value to it. In this case, like I'm just gonna put in, I put blah here, but I don't know, I can be ABCD news. Uh, and this is really nice because if you used define props in the past, there's this with defaults kind of uh, wonky thing you can do to add defaults, but this is much easier. They actually did not add this into 3.4. It's still an experimental feature, but I would still recommend if you're using the define props, go into your Vite config inside the plugins where it says uh, add in this script, basically this object for this script uh, where it says props destructure and just set it to true. And then this will make your life much easier. And then usually I have to stop and restart the server. In this case, this should work. So if I come back over here, it's set to ABCD news. So let's say I don't send a message at all through. So I'm gonna come back down here, delete this, save it, come back up here. You see it defaulted to ABCD news as I expected. So that's a really handy tip. So if you are using props, you can use the shorthand 
you want to use default, I would use this props destructure and turn it on. Now I also want to show you another nice feature of view 3.4, which is defined model, which was included in 3.3 but now it's stable in 3.4 and doesn't need the experimental flag that it did in 3.3. So let me show you how that works. I have the same component that I had before. I have the sample of view 3.4 app and I have my, fo my footer view. Now the idea being is let's say we want to have this message ref being passed over to our child component, this my footer component, but we wanna be two-way data bound. In other words, we wanna make sure that if you change it in the parent component, it updates, but also we can change it in the child component and it updates as well. So it's bound two way. Same thing you kinda of see if you put a V model on an input, but for a component. Now this was available earlier from 3.4 and 3.3, but you had to kinda of do a little bit of work of doing this to find emits, and it was a, the syntax was a little bit more complicated. So with this new update, it's a little bit, it's a lot easier. So let, let's assume that we want to add in this define model. So first I'm gonna go to my footer view and I'm gonna add in this define model type string and then I'm gonna put a default text. And there's a few other things we can put in here. But let's say we only have one value that we're passing over that we need a two way bind. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna uncomment this out. And this basically says, hey, just put that link text in here. Now in the app.view, I just need to, uh, enter it in. So I'm going to do v model equals and then message. Now I, I called this message like I, you saw earlier. It's called link in here, but it's the same thing essentially. So I'm going to save it. If I try it out, if I type in a, a value, it still adds it as we expect it. Now that's not too much different than we saw before when I was just using a normal defined prop. So let's, let's take a look at a little difference. I'm going to uncomment this button here. And what this is doing is every time you click this button, it changes the text to yahoo.com. And it's gonna be a big, ugly yellow button. So let's see if that works. So I come up here, if I type in a value here, it says AASDF, and now I can directly change this defined model, basically this two-way two -way data bound prop, this link, and change it to yahoo.com. So if I click it, here it is. It says yahoo.com as I expected. And if you had tried this in an earlier version of Vue, or if you were just using props, you get a big error that props are, are essentially static. You can't change them once you pass them into child components. So this is a, a nice improvement. It also, it's a nicer improvement here that I don't have to do this define emits and all this other syntax. Another improvement here is Let's imagine that you have multiple V models that you wanted to pass into this my component, my footer view. The way you do that is you just type in colon here and then the name that you want to call it. So in this case, let's say this is message. And then in here, we would come in here and we can put in the name in here. In this case would be, uh, let's say message. And then it still work as you expect it. There's no problems. So if you wanted to, you could have multiple in here. You just have to put in V model, colon, and then the name, and then what you're passing in, in this case, the message. Anything in, in the quotes is what you're passing in from the parent to the child component. So one other thing we can do is add in modifiers, and modifiers allows us to do certain things when we set values. So let's assume that when we press this button to update this link that we want something to happen. So maybe it's doing some special capitalization of the word. To do that, uh, let's take a look. So if I'm in here, what we can do is we can add in a modifier to the bottom here. So I'm gonna put in dot capitalize right here. And at first it's not gonna do anything. So I have to kind of define it here. So instead of having this link, I'm gonna have an object. The first value is gonna be the value of it, which is the link. The second value is going to be the modifier. So inside this object, we have a whole bunch of things we can do. We can set getters, we can set setters. Uh, let's set uh, a setter. So we have this set here for the val V being the value that's coming from it. And what we can do is if the modifier dot capitalize, uh, does, if, it's the, if that is set, then it's gonna do something. Otherwise, we're just gonna return the value. So in this modifier dot capitalize, uh, we're gonna return the values we want. So we're gonna return value dot char at zero. So they'll grab the first value. We're gonna have it to uppercase. 
And then we're going to add in the value.slice.1, which should be the rest of it. And so now every time this capitalize modifier happens, anytime you do a set, this will change the value. So if I add in yahoo.com is already in there. If I hit, hit update link, it went ahead and capitalized it. And so these are really powerful uh, things you can do anytime you do skits or sets on this V model. It kind of reminds me a little about how you can do getters and setters on computer properties as well. And uh, you, can, you can do a lot of really cool things. So this, this is pretty handy. So I hope you guys learned a little bit of something. These are a few of the new View 3.4 changes and updates. I think that's pretty handy. Let me know what your favorite updates are in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe too. Thanks.